Exactly what you heard. With three dollars, you can have full access to my manga in high quality, like Yamoshi as a girl, and of course, the best Akumo Saga. All this and much more with more than five gigs of fan manga access. Patreon and comments! In the middle of a very busy city located in the capital of the West, Gohan, who was in his personal work office in his own home, was tired and mentally exhausted from working and worrying about countless scientific research papers. Even though it was his dream, he didn't imagine it would be so difficult. In other words, Gohan didn't expect his dream to be so tiring, because nowadays, he barely has any time for his own family and friends, and that made him upset. Gohan was definitely very tired. He was so tired that he wasn't even able to reason enough to prepare his scientific notes for his work, and when he saw that he wasn't getting as many results, he came to the conclusion that he should go out for some air. Gohan, who had left his office, was already outside, observing the large trees that were close to his house. Suddenly, he saw a large mountain. The mountain was quite far from his house, however, he decided to fly there. When Gohan arrived at the mountain, he ended up coming to the conclusion that that place was transmitting a feeling of comfort and courage, the peace that Gohan needed. Gohan said, wow, now that I think about it, how long has it been since I meditated? Yeah, it really has been a long time, I hope I can find some inner peace here in this environment. This place gives me a feeling of calm and nostalgia for the previous years I spent training to perfect my skills. Well, anyway, I'm going to start meditating. Said Gohan, who was nervous as he tried to meditate calmly to try to readjust his lost time in training. Gohan had started meditating, and although it seemed difficult for the Saiyan to end up focusing on this meditation, he was slowly starting to adapt to meditation, no matter how difficult it was. Gohan, who was immersed in his various thoughts, was remembering the moments when he was in the Tournament of Power, despite having reached new levels of strength, Gohan was absurdly weak in the mental aspect, and to try to alleviate this, he had decided to train. He was remembering the different fighters he fought against in the Tournament of Power, and despite showing enormous power in that tournament, he was still eliminated. Gohan was thinking about the enemies he had already faced, and obviously when he thought about this, it is certainly obvious that he thought about the Pride Troop at the same time. Gohan said, Come to think of it, I became extremely strong, just like I had been a long time ago, so I guess that counts as an advantage. Well, despite that, I feel like I can't control this new form of mine, I can feel that it's an impressive power and that I can't have refined control over it. Gohan said, while he was positioned on top of the highest mountain in that place while he remembered his beast transformation. Gohan said, the enemies I faced during the tournament of power really were formidable enemies, especially the pride troop and the dispo opponent I had faced in that tournament, they were frantic battles, but, due to my lack of strength and control, I ended up disqualifying myself. Well, anyway, my focus is to improve more and more. But the big question is, how can I do this? After a long time, Gohan had the brilliant idea of visiting the Supreme Kai, the same Supreme Kai who had made him awaken his hidden powers, perhaps he, of all people, knows a way for Gohan to control his beast form, since that the Saiyan was unable to find any method for this. When Gohan thought about the Supreme Kai, he quickly left the mountain and flew at high speed to his father's house, he was going to ask Goku to teleport him to the Supreme Kai world. A few minutes later at Goku and Shishi's house. Gohan, who had finally arrived at his father's house, knocked on the door and was greeted by Chi Chi, who was absurdly happy to see him after a few months. Surprisingly, Goku was at home and was thinking about how he would improve his crop harvest for his work, but Gohan simply stopped him from thinking about it when he asked him about a rather important matter. Gohan said, Look, Dad, I know you seem to be quite busy thinking about something else, but could you teleport me to the Kaishin's planet? I want to ask Supreme Kai something very important, said Gohan, who had a very serious expression in his eyes. 
Goku said, well, by your face I see that it's something extremely important, anyway, I'll take you there, just hold my shoulder and we'll go there in a moment. Said Goku, who then placed his finger on his forehead and prepared to use his teleportation. And so it was done, they were both teleported to the world of the Supreme Kaishins, and when they started to walk a little through that green forest they finally managed to find the Supreme Kai. Gohan, who didn't want to waste any time, asked Supreme Kai if he could help him tell him some kind of method so that he can evolve his abilities, but Supreme Kai's answer not only shocked Goku, but also left Gohan practically immobile like a real stone. Supreme Kai said, I can't do anything, I'm sorry. I've already done everything I could for you, I did the ritual and you became extremely strong, didn't you? So there's nothing I can do about it. Said Supreme Kai, who was looking at Gohan seriously. Gohan said, wow, is it really serious that there isn't any kind of method in particular Supreme Kai? There has to be some way, please help me. I need to control this power, otherwise, I won't be able to protect the people I love most in this world. Said Gohan, who was saying this with a lot of determination on his face. Supreme Kai said, well, come to think of it, there is something you can do. The only way, in simple terms, is for you to travel to another universe and simply train with them, adopt a new training method and get out of the usual training of the Saiyan race. If you do this, I'm sure you'll be able to control your powers. Gohan said, oh, really? Thank you very much, Supreme Kai. Did you hear that daddy? I have a chance. Said Gohan, who was extremely excited. After a while, Goku and Gohan decided to leave the Supreme Kai's world and finally, they arrived on Earth with Goku's teleportation. Gohan decided to ask his father to make Whis accompany him to other universes for this mission, as he certainly knows a lot of things besides him being the fastest being in Universe 7, right? When Gohan asked this type of question to Goku, the Saiyan was simply very happy, and he simply accepted his son's request. On Beerus Planet Goku and Gohan had teleported to Sir Beerus' planet, they soon found Whis, who was eating some strange foods. Goku said, look, Whis, I know it's a hassle to ask, but could you fulfill Gohan's request, please? It's something simple, but it's something only you can do. Well, in that case, could you accompany Gohan to visit other universes? He is trying to improve control of his beast form, and to try to sustain all of this, he has the idea of training with other universes, more specifically, he wants to train with the pride troop. Goku spoke, revealing Gohan's plan to try to control this beast transformation and Goku was confident that the angel would accept this request and was eager to see Gohan's evolution. Gohan said, well, now that you know the situation, can we go to Universe 11, please? Said Gohan, who was impatiently waiting for the angel Wiss response. Wiss said, very well then, are you trying to increase your strength using other types of training as a basis? I see, it's an interesting theory. Well, anyway, let's go, the faster we go, the better it will be. Said Wiss, who soon picked up his bat and only Gohan was teleported to Universe 11 together with Wiss. In Universe 11, upon arriving from the Pride Troop Universe Gohan could see the difference between Universe 7 and 11, Universe 11 was not only more technological and advanced than Universe 7, but it was also more dynamic and vast. Well, when they both walked a little, they managed to see a big bar, and in that bar, was Topo and the rest of the Pride Troop, not only that, but Belmod was also there. Gohan said, ah, excuse me, Mr. Belmod, you probably don't know much about me, but my name is Gohan, I'm the son of the man who managed to get Jiren out of the arena. I came here to fortify myself, and as such, I would like to train as a true member of the Pride Troop. Please let me train with you said Gohan, who bowed to the God of Destruction. Belmont said, so you want to get stronger, I admire your courage to come here to make this request, I could simply destroy you or send you lifeless to your universe, but since you are accompanied by a wiss, I won't do that and I feel like I owe you a debt, so, there's no problem that you want to train here, feel free, said Belmont, who continued drinking his beer. Gohan said, really? All right, Mr. Belmont. I promise I won't disappoint you. Well, can we start now? 
Sid Gohan, who seemed eager to get started. Belmont said, first, we have to find Topo and finally, you can talk about it with him, after all he also understands a lot about the pride troop. Well, come on, I'll take you to Topo, I know where he is. Said Belmont, who got up from his chair and began to guide Gohan. In Universe 11, Inside a busy bar in Universe 11, Gohan and Belmod were looking for Topo to begin the long-awaited training. The environment was full of warriors of different races, chatting animatedly while enjoying drinks and snacks, but Topo was not there. Gohan said, I really want to start this training, having the opportunity to train with one of the strongest warriors in Universe 11 is an honor said Gohan, with a determined look, as he was apparently eager to begin his new training to master his beast form. Belmont spoke, take it easy, Gohan, it's not like Topo is going to be available now, as far as I remember, he'll be busy for a while, but keep at it with that unshakable determination and you might become as powerful as Jiren, who knows? Spoke Belmont, encouraging Gohan to remain focused on his objective. But suddenly, a familiar voice cut through the hustle and bustle of the bar. It was Dispo, the speedy warrior from Universe 11, who had overheard Gohan and Belmont's conversation. Dispo said, if you need a trainer, you can count on me, I will be free today, so I will have plenty of time to strengthen your mind, body and ki. I knew that one day we would meet again son Gohan. Dispo said, while offering to help with training, and he only did that because as soon as he saw Gohan he remembered his fight against the Saiyan in the Tournament of Power. His presence was a surprise, but Gohan gratefully accepted the help, recognizing the opportunity to learn from a fighter as skilled as Dispo. Gohan said, I gladly accept, Mr. Dispo. But is everything really okay for you? Because I Frieza eliminated you from the Tournament of Power. Gohan said, bowing, but with doubts in his mind. Dispo said, don't worry, that's the past and in the end it's alright, right? We are alive and from what I remember we were eliminated together so let's say we are tied but don't forget you will owe me one. Said the rabbit from Universe 11, then the trio left the bar and headed to a training area where Dispo began to instruct Gohan in combat techniques and power control. As Belmont watched with interest, Gohan and Dispo began their intense training session. Dispo said, firstly, I want you to try to keep up with my pace. Spoke Dispo, who was maintaining a confident pose until he finally started running. Gohan said, okay, I'll do my best. Gohan said enthusiastically and confidently. Dispo, with his unparalleled agility and dexterity, demonstrated various fighting and movement techniques, challenging Gohan to keep up with his frantic pace. Dispo said, adjust your posture, correct your visual field, Focusing on obvious and main movements can indeed be useful, however, if you don't notice the slight details, you won't be able to see surprise blows. So always try to keep an eye on your opponent without letting your guard down. Dispo spoke between quick movements and precise blows, offering advice and corrections, helping Gohan to improve his technique and perfect his fighting style. Meanwhile, Belmont watched with interest, for him those movements were noticeable and he even considered thinking of something to say and help Gohan, but he decided to remain silent as Dispo would already be enough in this support, and helping the Saiyan now could make it very easy this path for Gohan so the God of Destruction decided to remain silent. Returning to Gohan's training as the training progressed, Gohan felt increasingly confident in his abilities and potential as a warrior. He absorbed Dispo's teachings with diligence and determination, seeking to incorporate each lesson into his own fighting style. As the hours passed, the sun began to set over the horizon, casting a golden light on the stunning landscape around it. Gohan and Dispo continued to train tirelessly, determined to make the most of every moment of their training session. As Belmont watched Gohan and Dispo, an imposing presence slowly approached. It was Jiren, the legendary warrior of Universe 11, whose aura emanated an incomparable calm and strength. His penetrating gaze observed Belmont so Jiren walked calmly towards his god of destruction. Jiren, Belmont, what's going on here? Why does this place seem so busy? Jiren spoke, trying to understand the situation he had just encountered. Belmont, ah, uh, Jiren, I'm glad you're here. I'm just observing a very interesting training session I joined Gohan, Goku's son, remember him? Jiren, training with Goku's son? Damn, I go on a mission and when I come back, Goku's son is here. Jiren said, happy to see Gohan because it brought him good memories at the time of the Tournament of Power. Jiren, Gohan and Dispo? Interesting, he has potential, but he needs someone to guide him properly. 
Jiren said, thinking that another person would be better suited to Gohan's training due to their different styles. Belmod, exactly, Jiren. Dispo has been an incredible mentor to Gohan so far he is helping Gohan hone his skills and tap into his true power. Belmont spoke, demonstrating that Dispo was still a great tutor for Gohan. Jiren, I see. However, I believe I can contribute significantly to Gohan's development as well. Jiren said, confident that he might finally be able to awaken Gohan's real potential. Belmont, you? Jiren, you are one of the most powerful fighters I have ever met but your approach is quite different from Dispo. Belmont said trying to demonstrate that Jiren could end up being very brutal in his training. Jiren, I agree that our methods may be different, but that doesn't mean I can't offer something valuable to Gohan. I can help you find your inner strength in a way that only I can do. Jiren countered by showing that in fact he would be more useful than helping Gohan, but besides that, Jiren was eager to help someone, which in a way brought a lot of motivation at the time of the Tournament of Power. Belmont said, you have a point. Perhaps Gohan could benefit from different training styles. Spoke Belmont, finishing the conversation, watching Jiren approach both fighters who were training. Gohan, surprised by Jiren's arrival, felt a mixture of admiration and reverence at the powerful fighter who was next to him. He bowed respectfully towards Jiren, acknowledging his presence and importance that Jiren has in Universe 11. Jiren spoke, continue your training with diligence and determination, young warrior. The path to greatness is long and challenging, but with persistence and focus, you can reach new heights of power and wisdom, and from this moment on I will be your master. Jiren spoke, with his calm and serene voice, addressing Gohan with words of wisdom and encouragement. Gohan, moved by Jiren's presence and words, felt a new wave of determination and inspiration to flood his soul. He knew he had found not only a master, but also a mentor whose example he would follow with devotion. As the sun set over the horizon, Gohan, who was now accompanied by Jiren, would continue his training journey. Universe 11 Jiren and Gohan are in a peaceful, secluded location, surrounded by the serenity of nature. The sun is slowly setting over the horizon, creating a calm and relaxing atmosphere. Jiren said, Gohan, before we start physical training, there is something I would like to talk to you about. Gohan said, of course, Jiren. What is it? The Saiyan asked, curious to know what Jiren, the most powerful warrior in Universe 11, wanted to know from him. Jiren said, for you to come here it means that you want something very important and I will help you but I want to know your reasons first because our first step is meditation and controlling the flow of energy are fundamental aspects of a warrior's training. They don't just strengthen the body, so is your mind prepared for it? I asked Jiren to know whether he would have to deal with a beginner or not. Gohan said, I want to control my new power called Beast, but I don't have control over this power, and I need to control this power so I don't see anyone I love suffer. Gohan spoke in a tone of sincerity while looking at Jiren who remembered his past where his entire family was killed because Jiren still didn't have the power to protect his family. So he already had an answer for Gohan and it was yes he would agree to help his son, your rival to get stronger. Jiren said, I understand. Let's get started then. Sit comfortably like me and close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. Feel the air going in and out of your lungs. So Gohan follows Jiren's instructions and begins to breathe deeply, trying to empty his mind of thoughts. Gohan said, this is harder than I thought. My mind is so agitated. Gohan said when he noticed that his anxiety and excitement was disturbing him. Jiren said, it's normal. Practicing meditation requires patience and persistence. Don't worry about the thoughts that arise. Just watch them and let them pass by, like clouds in the sky. Jiren said trying to advise Gohan. So Gohan continues to meditate, gradually relaxing his mind and body. Gohan spoke, I feel a sense of calm beginning to emerge within me. Said Gohan, finally starting to understand that feeling. Jiren said, that's right, Gohan. Now, let's focus on energy flow. Feel the energy around you. She is in constant motion, like a flowing river. Jiren said, still advising Goku's eldest son. Gohan closes his eyes and tries to feel the energy around him, following Jiren's instructions. Gohan said, it's like there's an invisible current around me. I can feel it. Gohan said as he better understood the new sensations. Jiren said, very well, Gohan. Now focus on directing this energy within yourself. Let it flow through you, filling every part of your being. Jiren said, noting that he was adapting quickly. Gohan concentrates intensely, feeling the energy flowing through him. Gohan said, it's incredible. 
I feel like I'm connected to everything around me. Gohan said, surprised by such usefulness and capacity that meditation grants him. Jiren said, this is what happens when you learn to master the flow of energy. You become a part of the universe, in harmony with it. Keep practicing this regularly and you will see great progress in your development as a warrior. Jiren spoke, explaining to Gohan the principles of energy. Gohan said, thank you, Jiren. I had never experienced anything like this before. Jiren spoke, Gohan, remember, the path to true strength is not just about physical training, but also about cultivating the mind and spirit. Jiren and Gohan are sitting in a secluded area, enveloped by the serenity of the environment. The sun sets gently on the horizon, dyeing the sky in golden and pink tones. Birds sing soft melodies as they fly from tree to tree, and the breeze is gentle. Jiren said, close your eyes, Gohan, and allow yourself to sink into this present moment. Feel the world around you. Jiren said to Gohan, hoping he would succeed. Gohan complies, breathing deeply as he focuses on his senses. He hears the distant rumble of a nearby stream, the comforting sound of water gently flowing over rocks. The crickets begin to sing in a symphony, adding a natural soundtrack to your meditation. Gohan said, it's as if nature itself was speaking to us, Jiren. This is so peaceful. Gohan spoke when listening with better skills. Jiren said, yes, Gohan. Allow yourself to feel this connection with the world around you. Now, focus on the key of the beings that are close to us. Feel their energy. Jiren spoke, advising Gohan again with an attitude of respect. Gohan extends his senses, trying to perceive the key of the creatures around him. He feels the calm, serene energy of the trees, the gentle vibration of the insects buzzing in the air, and even the calming key of a small animal nearby. Gohan said, it's like I can feel life pulsing around me, Jiren. It's an incredible feeling, said Gohan with his eyes still closed and excited with the insight he had gained. Jiren said, that's right, Gohan. You are learning to tune in to the key of the universe. This ability will be fundamental in your future battles, as it will allow you to anticipate your opponent's movements and react with precision. Jiren said, still in the same meditation position. While the two warriors meditate, Jiren decides to take his training to the next level and to test Gohan's ability to remain focused and focused. Jiren, with a silent gesture, begins to launch controlled key strikes in Gohan's direction. Gohan, not immediately noticing the change, continues his meditation, his breathing calm and steady. But as the energy strikes approach, he quickly becomes aware of the threat. With eyes still closed, with a calm movement, Gohan dodges a beam of energy that was coming towards him. He feels the energy rush through him, a shiver running down his spine as he moves away from the imminent danger. His reflexes are sharp, his mind was completely focused. Jiren continues to launch a series of strikes, varying their speed and intensity to keep Gohan on his toes. Some are fast and direct, while others are slower and stealthier, testing the limits of Gohan's perception. But each time, Gohan responds with precision he's never had, dodging each blow. Their meditation turns into a fluid dance of movement and energy, with Gohan relying on his instincts and connection to his ki to guide him. He feels the energy of Jiren's blows before they are even thrown, allowing him to dodge in advance, his movements becoming increasingly natural and efficient. Meanwhile, Jiren watches in awe at Gohan's ability to adapt and overcome the challenge. He recognizes the potential of the young warrior and is proud to be able to help him on his journey of growth and self-improvement. As training continues, Gohan's confidence in his abilities grows and he feels more centered and balanced than ever before. He knows that, with Jiren's guidance, he feels he is close to mastering his beast form. In Universe 11, Jiren and Gohan, after intense meditation training and practice dodging blows, were standing, facing each other. An intense energy seems to pulse between them. Their breaths are calm but determined as they prepare to test their skills in a friendly fight. Jiren spoke, Gohan, you have demonstrated impressive control over your ki and reflexes. Now, it's time to put your skills to the test in combat. Jiren said, getting ready to fight. Gohan, I'm ready, Jiren. I'm dying to see what I can do now. Gohan said, also preparing to fight. Without another word, they get into fighting stance, their bodies tense and ready for confrontation. The air around them appears to electrify with the amount of energy released. With a quick movement, Jiren advances towards Gohan, throwing a powerful punch towards him. Gohan reacts instantly, deftly dodging and counterattacking with a quick key blast. Jiren blocks Gohan's attack with ease, making Jiren impressed by the young Saiyan's agility and determination. 
Then Jiren responds with a series of precise strikes, each calculated to test Gohan's defense. Gohan bravely resists Jiren's attacks, using his speed and dexterity to dodge blows and find openings in his opponent's defense. He counterattacks with a rapid combination of punches and kicks, each blow charged with the power of his key. The fight continues, with the two warriors moving in an intense dance of combat. They trade powerful blows and skillful dodges, each determined to prove their strength and skill. Finally, after an intense exchange of attacks, they pull away from each other, panting and sweaty, but satisfied with the challenge. An admiring smile forms on Jiren's lips as he looks at Gohan. Jiren said, you're really impressive, Gohan. His combat skill is remarkable. Jiren said, praising his temporary apprentice. Gohan said, thank you, Jiren. You're amazing too, but it's not over yet. Gohan said a little tired, thanking him for the compliments. Jiren and Gohan continue to fight, each pushing their limits as the intensity of the battle increases. The air around them seems charged with the energy released from their swift strikes and movements. Jiren, realizing it's time to take the battle to the next level, decides to increase his key by half. Jiren said, no more games, Gohan. Let's see what you're really capable of, Jiren said, wanting to test Gohan's limits. With a roar of determination, Jiren releases a massive wave of ki, his aura expanding and becoming even more imposing. Gohan, sensing the change on the battlefield, knows it's time to increase his power. He focuses deeply, calling on the energy within. With a flash of light, he transforms into his mystical form, his body radiating a bright, empowered aura. The battle between the two warriors now reaches a new level of intensity. Jiren charges forward with a series of devastating blows, each charged with the power of his amplified ki. Gohan responds with equal ferocity, his speed increased by the mystical transformation. The two faces off in a dance of attacks and dodges, each movement calculated and precise. The sound of his blows echoes throughout the place. Jiren launches a powerful beam of energy towards Gohan, who responds with a key shield to protect himself. The resulting explosion creates a shockwave that shakes the environment around them, but both remain standing, determined to continue the fight. The battle continues for just a few minutes that feels like hours. They are perfectly in tune with their key, each movement an extension of their will and determination. The battle between Jiren and Gohan reaches a new level of intensity and power. This is the moment for Gohan to show his beast form and how much he has evolved, with both warriors releasing all of his power. Jiren advances relentlessly, launching a series of powerful and explosive blows, while Gohan responds with equal ferocity, Gohan activates his beast transformation emanating a wild and indomitable energy. For a moment, it appears that Jiren has the upper hand, his skill and control over his ki being evident in every strike he throws. Gohan fights with all his strength, but seems to be one step behind his opponent. However, something inside Gohan begins to change. A sense of wild, primal power begins to grow within him, fueling his determination and willpower. He focuses deeply, seeking to control and dominate this inner energy. Suddenly, Gohan's beast form becomes even more powerful, his bright, wild aura expanding and intensifying. His eyes shine with fierce determination as he prepares to strike back. Jiren, surprised by Gohan's transformation, redoubles his efforts, launching a series of even more powerful attacks. But Gohan, now completely in control of his beast form, responds with incredible strength and speed, deftly dodging each blow and counterattacking with relentless ferocity. As the battle between Jiren and Gohan reaches its climax, the two warriors prepare to launch their most powerful attacks. Jiren focuses all of his ki into his palm, creating a glowing, incandescent sphere of energy, while Gohan channels his energy into the legendary Makankasapo. The tension in the air is palpable as Jiren and Gohan launch their attacks almost simultaneously. Jiren's energy sphere glows with an almost blinding intensity, while Gohan's Makankasapo forms at his fingertips, radiating an electric blue light. The two attacks collide in the middle of the battlefield with a deafening explosion. The impact is overwhelming, creating a shockwave that extends for miles around. Trees are uprooted, soil is torn apart, and chunks of rock are thrown into the air like feathers. The intense light emitted by the collision illuminates the night sky, causing the air to tremble and the sound to echo across the horizon. Belmod, Wiss, and Dispo, who were watching in astonishment from a distance, were pressed back by the power of the explosion, barely able to stand in the face of the force of the impact. Only Wiss, who was using his barrier, was able to watch it normally. 
For a moment, the world around them seems to freeze, as if the universe itself was holding its breath at the magnitude of the confrontation. Then, slowly, the dust begins to dissipate, revealing Jiren and Gohan standing side by side amidst the chaos that surrounds them. After the intense confrontation and training with Jiren, Gohan approaches Belmont, Whis and Dispo with a grateful smile. Gohan spoke, thank you everyone for this incredible experience. I have learned so much from each of you and I feel stronger than ever. But now it's time for me to return to my home in Universe 7. Gohan said, thanking and bowing to both of them present there. Jiren said, it was an honor to train alongside you, Gohan. You have shown a courage and determination that is truly inspiring. Jiren said, showing respect for Gohan after facing him. Dispo spoke, you truly are a remarkable warrior, Gohan. I'm sure we'll meet again on the battlefield, and I can't wait for that day. Dispo said, grateful for having the honor of helping him. With one last exchange of glances and greetings, Gohan leaves his training companions and approaches Whis and prepares to leave. His heart sinks as he leaves these moments of master and student behind, but he knows that his journey as a warrior is just beginning. With one last look back, Gohan launches himself into the air, disappearing into the distance as he heads back home. He knows there are challenges waiting for him in Universe 7, but he is determined to face them with courage and determination, knowing that each battle will make him stronger and more prepared for what the future holds. Guys, that concludes this incredible story, did you like it? Leave a lot of likes on the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so see you another day guys.